Hello, how are you? How's everybody out there? This is Mario. Tonight we're going to talk about a lot of things. There's a lot of information in the world right now. Really, really a lot of news. I wish I can talk about everything that is ex happening since last week. Uh, what's going on with Arab Shift? The FEI is in hot water. The ex-president is in trouble. Senator Chuck Grassley has new news. He's going after the money. So there's a lot of things I wish I can talk a lot about, have enough time on this show to talk about John Briscoe. But, and before we go and talk about these segments, I would like to introduce my two guests, John Briscoe and Pablo Miramontes. Good afternoon. Pablo, welcome. No te oigo. Good, good afternoon. Okay. Welcome to the show. Today, let's talk, let's talk a little bit about what happens with the ex-president. Jan Brisco, what can, what can you, what do you know what's going on? Well, I know that there's laws. We're supposed to be in a country of laws, and everybody follows and obeys the same laws or suffers the consequences. There's laws regarding presidential documents, and there's laws regarding espionage. Laws regarding presidential documents are not criminal. Laws regarding espionage is criminal. Our ex-president, former president, Donald Trump, has been charged with espionage laws, mostly all of them, that put him at risk of criminal violation, felonious criminal violation, uh, jail sentences of 20 years associated with those if they're proved to be true, all based on presidential record activities, which are not criminal and are going to be a problem to prove because the presidential record laws say the president can decide what he wants to do with his records. There's two things that come out of this that interest me. One is, most interesting to me, is what is in those records? They're classified and confidential, I may never know, but what was in those records that was so fascinating to Donald Trump that he wanted to go hide them in his, uh, not hide them, but keep them in his Mar-a-Lago place, as the law allows? The law says the president can decide what he wants to do with those records whenever he wants to do it. So what are those well, records? Oh my well, gosh. Well, the thing is... Uh, uh, okay, okay. Go ahead, Pablo. So, um, the president can decide whether or not he wants to declassify them, but he never declassified them. So his story has been changing several times. First, he said that, uh, that he had magically declassified them with his mind, and then he said he magically uh, declassified them after the fact. The, the thing is, the fact that he's no longer the president means that, that he cannot just keep them in, a, in, in his bathroom or, or in a garage somewhere. Those are very secret documents. Um, you know, I, I wonder, I mean, we all, I, I, I knew he was a criminal from the beginning, even before he became president. But uh, the fact that he was given over a year to, to turn the documents back in, and didn't, and only what until his house was raided that he, you know, he was caught red-handed, and and he did a couple of things where he shifted them around. He said, "Oh, I already gave you everything I have." Um, it it really shows the the character of this man, um, because remember, during the Hillary Clinton election, he said, "Lock her up, lock her up, lock her up." For what? For having an email server in, in her in her, her basement? Well, thirty thousand so emails really with confidential stuff on it and I have a I have a But it's not the issue is uh, the uh, Presidential Records Act doesn't require a form to be filled out. It doesn't say that oh, all records have to be... But, no, okay. it doesn't. It just says the president can decide what is or isn't. And there's but no there, form you fill out with okay, the National there's, Archives. There's standards by which the laws have to be followed, right? If something is classified, how does 
the people who the record keepers know that it's been declassified if if there isn't a record of it being declassified you have the to have a list of the president document says, a I declassified is classified it. document b is not classified how just magically yes. a document magically just, because just the president says has it in his hands. i declassified it and bill clinton when he left office he took dozens of tapes and classified information so he could write memoirs he took them with him they, they would logically eventually belong in the Bill Clinton Library or in the archives, but no, he took them with him, and it was uh, legal. I have, I, have a little, I have a little clip here. Uh, Salvador, can you play the first clip, please? Pablo, listen to this. This is a very, very important clip. It's a comment? Well, there's no form to fill out. National Archives doesn't decide what is or isn't appropriate for the president to take with him for records to take care of the rest of his life. The president decides that for himself or herself. We almost had a herself, but not quite. So no, there is no, f there's no way that the law might be changed. That would be a good recommendation, Pablo, that the law be clarified, that Congress pass new laws and regulations, but. A masterful political maneuver, stopping at Cafe Versailles on Miami's Cayocho. Versailles is a common stop for politicians while visiting South Florida, but this totally unannounced visit was a lot different than just a campaign stop. Trump was adored by the crowd, and the response made perfect sense. The Cuban Americans dining at Versailles, chowing down on Ropa Vieja and some of the strongest coffee known to man, are naturally sympathetic to the plight of former President Trump. Many in South Florida came to this country from a once great nation that was destroyed by radical leftism. They've seen what a weaponized government of the left can do to dissidents, to anyone that threatens their regime, and right now they're seeing a very similar display unfolding in the very country that they escaped to, and it scares the hell out of them, and it should. Guys, because guys, there's nowhere you're, you're left watching to run too much news, Max. The militant okay. left. Okay, Pablo. Uh... You're watching the question, the que the, yeah, yeah. The Newsmax question, is the one question, of the most biased media there is. It's, it's just propaganda for, for right wing. I don't know. No. I wanted to put it in there, so I want to get, get your opinion on it. Uh, what is it? What do they see on this guy that is so much like, why they like, it, they like him so much? I want to get your, I want to get your uh, because opinion he's on a it. Cult, he's a cult leader. Trump is a cult leader. He can do whatever he wants, and, and people will make excuses for him. They love him because he said what, what they wanted to hear. He, he said racist things, and they like it. They want it. That's why they like him so much. That's why he's a cult leader. He hasn't done any of the things that, that, that he told them, that he promised them. He promised them health care. He promised them all kinds of, of actual leftist things. But the only thing that he delivered on was giving tax breaks for the rich. And yet they still like him because he's a cult leader. But he's broken the law. He, he was a criminal before he became president, and he, he's a criminal now. Well, okay. that, that, that okay. raises okay. a about, side let, route. Let, sure let, and it's let, not let leftists to go after him. This is, he had the opportunity to change the law, but he actually made the classification, the, he made the law against classified document retention more strict. So if he knew the law, he knew what he signed, why, why did he break it? Because he felt like he's above the law. Let me, get you, let me get Jan Brisco's let me get Jan Brisco's on, opinion, on please. Classified documents, the president makes the law. He doesn't have to go to national archives or anybody else to get permission or any of that to, to uh, classify and declassify. He can decide. The law says the president, it's his decision, it's his job to declassify if he wants. And what that means is John, that when... That, that's, that's nonsense. He, he has to tell somebody if something is declassified, he has to say, okay, uh, our records archive. This is no longer classified. There's a procedure to it. There's a form to fill out. Oh, you know he that there's a form? Magically... Wait, wait, Pablo. You know there's a form to fill out? And it's not required. It's a I... courtesy. It's not required to fill out any form. He's the president. The whole executive branch reports to the president. There's no requirement other than for him to say, these documents are declassified, and I can have them and do with them. I, okay, would... so if that's the case, why then would, were, were those chants about lock her up? What was all that about? So was, she, she, was she wasn't the president. State. She thought she, she was, was but she wasn't the president, Pablo. She was the yeah, Secretary, was Secretary of State, of state and, and, and a fundraiser is, for Russian donations to her Clinton Foundation. But she wasn't the president. She had no business, no nothing to so, have that. Okay. So if let let's change let's change the name from Trump to um, 
Bernie Sanders. Let's say Bernie Sanders is president. Are you telling me that after Bernie Sanders is done being president, that he can keep documents in his bathroom? Yes, absolutely. Bill garage. Clinton took tapes and things with him. It's the, it's the law. The, the no, idea was the that they used is, it to write their memoirs and do other things like that. But, but it doesn't make any difference what the idea those was. Those records are documented. When you take something, when you take a classified document, there's a record of you having it, and and the and the records archives knows you have it, and it's documented. Then why do Some you have to ask permission? He, he you have to tell anybody. He didn't have permission to take them. He didn't have permission to take them. He doesn't have to have permission. He's the president. Now, and what you just said is great, Pablo. They know where the document is. They know who has the document. Oh, Trump has it. Okay, well they know where it is. It's no mystery, and he has the right, the authority to do that. He's the chief executive of the executive branch. So that was the first thing. Well, let, we can go through let, all let that. Me, but let the me other... ask you this. If, if he's going around, he's in Mar-a-Lago, right? I've now, I've now heard tapes of him actually showing off and saying, hey, I've got this classified document. And, and, he's, and he's, he knows he has a classified document because the story changed. At some point he says, no, it's not classified anymore because I declassified it. Or at least that's one of his lawyers said. But if it if it was declassified, then how can he still be bragging that he has classified documents um, to people that are visiting Mar-a-Lago? Maybe he meant it was classified. There's a billion documents that are classified. We classify five, 50 million documents a year, excessive classification beyond the pale. That's another problem. We can talk about that later. But no, he can do, if it's declassified, it was classified. So he says, yeah, it's a classified document. Well, it's not right now because I declared unclassified. But no, that, what you're saying makes perfect sense. He can tell people about it. I hope he didn't show it to anybody. But if that's I don't the know what, we don't he's, know what it was. A Russian, we, he's a Russian troll because no, everything right. tells me that everything he's done, he's never said anything bad about Putin. He says bad about things about any, almost anybody else, even people who worked for him, uh, Chris Christie, almost everybody. But yet he's never said a single word that negative about Putin. I don't care. Who knows it, if it he's doesn't... given Putin classified information? I, I, you we're, talking about North Korea class, we're talking about the classified documents and the ability of the president to declassify as his prerogative under the law. And there was no law until Nixon. <laughs> Nixon walked out with gazillions of documents and then Congress passed the law. So there was no law. And the law simply says that the president has the right to classify and declassify as he chooses when he's president. And you asked about Hillary. Hillary wasn't president, folks. She thought she was, but she wasn't president. And she had an illegal server that the law, and that's clear, all those communications. But what's, okay, what's more secure? A password-protected server with emails uh, that some of them are personal or uh, actual physical documents where, where it's a public place where people can go there and have uh, birthday parties, weddings, uh, and and people can come in and and just uh, be invited and just you know oh you know what I, I'm accidentally in the wrong room. They're not classified. There's some documents here. It, it does if they're not. It's not a secure area. They, they don't have to keep declassified documents in a secure area. It'd be a good idea. We don't know what's in those documents. That was my first point. I'm curious. Do we know where the Epstein tapes are? Well, that's interesting. Maybe they're in those documents. We don't know. And and. And we're made, we will well, never he was know good friends with Epstein, so I don't know, you know. All right, uh, let's go to the next uh, clip, please. No, no, what, 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 well, there, what are you going to finish? The one okay. part is, okay. what's on those tapes? That should be the front of mind. What would be on those tapes that would make the uh, Trump guy want to keep them and go through all this hassle? The other part after that is the law. And the Presidential Records Act is clear. The president has the sole exclusive personal right to classify and declassify on the one hand. On the other hand... The uh, Espionage Act, which is what they actually charged him under, was for obstruction and this and that. If the documents that you have are not classified, then there is no obstruction. And that's going to be the problem in the case is that, the, and if it goes to the Supreme Court, which it probably will, the Supreme Court's going to say, Congress wrote a lousy law. He has the right to do that. Go pound sand. And the thing will be over in three and a half years. Well, what happens is for the people that doesn't know, it's really confusing. And uh, Pablo, uh, the reason we brought some video clips is we, it gave us... It gave us the, uh, the opportunity to discuss. That's the reason we brought this, because yeah, so, by, okay. ha by, uh, by having this... I know a lot of people love him, right? A lot of people love... Uh, I, that, that's why I asked you the question. Hugo why Chavez, they love this guy so much? Just because people love him means nothing. 
Fu- uh, Newsmax means nothing. It's it's a propaganda. So it doesn't really prove anything. Okay, let's look at another clip from uh, Newsmax. Please. Similar things and nothing happened to her. When you have two people who do the the same thing and one has the standard that I've talked this about, is C- but the this only is one who gets indicted is the Republican. The only one who gets indicted okay. is the one who was actually present who did it the right way. Oh my goodness. So, so Pablo, in this uh, uh, in, in this clip, basically, you know, uh, it's on both sides. We talk about propaganda. One side is spewing something, and the other side is spewing the same thing. You know, but equals, they're fighting in between the two parties for something that it doesn't make sense. That's my opinion. What's yours? I couldn't see the visual of the clip, but uh, it. Um it was Lindsey Graham. I, I think most, yeah. Well, Lindsey Graham is is uh, he, he's a um, he's a Republican, right? Yes, so he, true. He's a Trump supporter. Mm, he he still so hasn't so. decided to go up against Trump. Now, if he runs for president, he may go against Trump, just like Chris Christie did. Uh, and Mike Pence is now kind of uh, uh, putzing around with the idea of, of maybe maybe Trump did something wrong. Um, but I think anybody who worked for for Trump, knowing the character of the man uh, should be embarrassed by running for president because they stood by him uh, while he did all those crimes. You know? well, you, you've claimed twice now that he was a criminal before he was even elected. What crimes did he commit? He did not pay people that he owed money to that were contractors when he... That's not a crime. That's a civil... It is. It's, it, it could it's, be stealing, right? It, I mean, not, not it, it's, really. a civil, it's a civil it's crime. A civil, it's not a civil but, crime. It's a civil case. It's a civil case, but but if it can be, it's not become nice. a point of, of it's hardball outright negotiations, shooting. but it's not it, no, it's not a crime. It's a civil case. If he paid, if he owed people money, he signed a contract for, they didn't pay, then they have to be sued in civil court for civil damages for civil money, not a crime. What else is he a criminal right. for? So after so after you go through several steps and he doesn't pay then it becomes a crime, and, and he really. did everything he could to, to avoid paying. No, if you get a judgment by a court, then they go against his uh, assets. There's no crime in any of that. I wish it were. I, I own a rental property, and it, I have tenants that short sheet me all the time. I wish it were a crime to steal from me, but it's not. It's a civil right. matter. It's about money, nothing to do with a crime, and they waltz away. Yeah, I'll give you that one, but, but what about all those times where he didn't pay his taxes, where he lied on his taxes, where he... Who said he, li- who said he lied? His assets? He, gets, he gets audited. He has people sitting in his office. There's no... He didn't lie on his taxes. Oh, but you told me that because he overestimated his values on property that the bank just took his word for it. No, they didn't. They had an appraiser. Oh, he underestimated his income. Well, if he did that, that's a cheat and a lie. And that's what the IRS does. They've got an auditor parked in his office. If he's really worth billions, they live in his office. That's that famous bank robber. They do robber. not have an auditor parked in his office. Otherwise, he would be in handcuffs and in jail. He, no, he has not. always skirted the law. He's... Skirt the oh, law okay. is not a criminal, Pablo. Skirting hey. the law. Oh, okay, then then there's a different standard. There's a different standard for different people. For Trump, he can get away with anything. There's nothing he could ever do that's wrong. But for you and me, we do one little thing, boom, that's it. Life, you know. Uh, not exactly, but if that's as an act, as a, as a as a. Uh, if you add up all the crimes that he's done, all crimes. the bad what crimes done, has he done, Pablo? What money. crimes? Take your time, Pablo. Explain to him the crimes, please. I say the most recently as the lady, the lady that sued him, and got what five million dollars on a civil money judgment. On there a civil no money judgment, but there, no there was no crime because there was no evidence or something. The lady didn't even remember. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> isn't that isn't it true about the lady? Assaulting a woman is a crime. The okay. reason why he was not uh, criminally indicted was because the 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 ex- it expired. The- oh no, they changed the law. That's why she came back and sued. They they changed the well, law in New York for, you for the civil penalty. Yeah, she she could, but but he could also not be criminally uh, indicted. Why because did they, there's, a, there's, there's a statute of limitations on that, right? Why did so, they change, why did they change the law? But it's a crime. If, if, if I were to do the same thing and, and it was reported, I would be in jail. He physically assaulted a woman. And he's, I, I guarantee you, there's 20 others that he's done it to. 
How could because you some of them have already this? come out and says, well, he did it too. That's what he He's does. Right, he, but probably, yeah, he, probably he admitted this. it on tape. He said, but it's okay with the Republicans because they'll excuse anything. He said, <laughs> you can touch them by the privates. Yeah, and he was on an audio. Okay it, because, had an audio it doesn't him. mean he did. This whole thing, it's like would, we live okay, in this, uh, I, this, war, I this fantasy you, world There is of no TV. tape of me saying something like that because I would never do such a thing. It's not even nice. if I were rich, I would never do something. I wouldn't even joke about it. It's not funny. Well, that's you. But he and, thought and it was funny enough. Nobody to said talk you had to it. like the guy, but it's not a crime to talk salaciously to a friend walking down an aisle while it's being recorded in the, John, the movie so, lot. So you excuse him talking about... I'm not excusing anything. <laughs> it's awful. It's okay, 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 okay. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's have another clip, please. Let's have another clip in there, please. The next one. Okay. No audio. I can't hear no audio. This is uh oh this is the fight uh this is the fight that happens in Santa 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 Monica? No, no. Oh in Burbank. Oh Burbank. But you you mix it all up, my friend. Yeah, you mix it all up about no, the school. Was, uh, Let, let's talk about the school. The other, uh, the other day it happens that clip is mixed up with in, another in one. Burbank and a whole bunch Pablo, of Armenian. This happens in Burbank and a whole bunch of Armenian people. Uh, get, uh, got in a big fight with the school district of Burbank. What, what's your opinion on that stuff? Are you familiar with that? It had to do with LBGBT, ABQDF, and plus, and the curriculum they had, and they came in. And well, it's got, it's got a lot to do with the, what's happening with the transgender stuff and uh, whatever is happening at the White House where this guy is showing all his breasts and everything at the White House. You... Did you hear about it yesterday, Pablo? No, I didn't. I, I had a lot of things going on yesterday. Okay. You didn't miss much with the breast shot, but anyway. <laughs> that's, no, not, the, that's not normal, though. That's not, that's not normal. Uh, the, these, uh, having been an elected trustee for 16 years, I'm a trustee emeritus. Uh, the, the place, the way you go fix the curriculum problems is with the school board and with the curriculum committee. It's not showing up at one meeting with a bunch of people. I, in my school district, we had our sex ed curriculum, and in it was this little this diagram with a bear, a little cuddly teddy bear, and where the genitalia belong, there was a spinning whirly gig thing, and we were telling kids age uh, kindergarten to sixth grade, you can select what gender you want to be, you know, up until eighth grade, actually. You can select your gender by spinning a little whirly gig thing, which I had taken out, and they snuck it back in. Anyway, it's finally out and gone. But the way you fix it isn't showing up to protest. You show up to be effective, and that's not what they did. And you don't pick a fight with. So people. how do you fix it? If you go, they have kick committees on this. Okay. And you file an official complaint and make it a review. You go to the local newspaper and media and show them the whirly gig bear well, with what are you select do the with sex it? today. The media is not working for you anymore. The well, media is working for two different channels. They're not really concerned about the little guy. The media, the little, like Pablo says, the little guy doesn't count. Well, Only is. the rich and famous get news, and they, and they get to know the TV and every, all the big shots. But the little guy, like the other day, was telling me a lady died. Uh, they killed a lady up in uh, up north. Nobody's talking about it. The other lady, they not, the other day, they knocked down a lady in Long Beach, Latino a lady walking on the street, 80 years old. It's in the news on oh, Channel Nine, but nobody touched her on uh, national news. So what do we do? Well, was the what, question. What, 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 and, here's the thing. Here's my thoughts on it. Uh, sorry, John. Um, I see uh, a lot of people are getting riled up and they're being scared. They're being frightened because they're being told that schools are teaching kids that they shouldn't be teaching them things, right? They, okay. That they're, Good. That they're uh, teaching them LGBTQ, this and that, that they're making them into LGBTQ, right? That's not possible. That's nonsense. You cannot be made into an LGBTQ. I don't care how many videos they show me or whatever. They're not going to make me into LGBTQ. Sorry, that's just the truth. Okay. I knew I like women since I'm like four or five years old. That's around the time you, you realize you, you, what you are, right? You may not know it's it, but you feel it. It's make a lot of sense it, in there, you know? Well, no. Right? The, the, the research is a lot of girls especially uh, are insecure and unclear in their comfort with themselves and their changing bodies at age 11 to 14. And they look around and they, oh my gosh, maybe I am. And confused. And... So the, the problem is you don't know what you are when you're 
But four and but five. John, te- schools are not teaching you. They're not indoctrinating you to be LGBTQ. It's just a fiction that, yeah, they're they're telling you to be acceptance of people. Yes, to, that is to true. understand people for what they are, to be accepting, to be accepting of different colors, of different races, of different types of people. They're not telling you to be LGBTQ. That's a lie. No, I know not, Republicans not, are not. passing around that, and Newsmax is telling people that, you know what, oh, they're making the kids want to be gay because it's so nice to be gay. Yeah, who wants to be uh, beaten and and, uh, and ostracized like, like gay people are? So the question no, came up earlier about what to do with something you don't like. Um, uh, and and the Aunt Mario, the answer is, in California State, unlike other states, anybody anywhere in the state can put an item, an item on the written school board agenda, including, including you, uh, LAUSD, as big as it is, not in public comments, on the written agenda, on the agenda, item number one, two, three, four, five, and it must be on the agenda and brought up and considered. It could be considered for, con- for discussion or for action. So the yeah. answer oh, is well, you, you, write a, you write a resolution and put it on the agenda. The right- they all have the right to do that, um, but I'm sorry to say that some of them are being misled. They're being no, used. They, they can put they're it on there, but they don't. They want to come and in. And they're being misdirected because you know why? I think I know why. Because if they try to go up against these school boards, which all, all they're doing is doing their job, they won't pay attention to the rich people that are stealing their money. So they have something to entertain themselves with by being angry at the school boards for taking out books about uh, black history, like... Uh, Rosa Parks. They're taking books out of Rosa Parks history. That's about Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, uh, slavery. They're removing that. Let That's propo- not free speech. Uh, Pablo, let me propose a real situation to you. You can look up John Briscoe and Maya Angelou and I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. So are you familiar with that book? Have you heard of it? She's I a heard, poet, heard of it. National Poet Laureate uh, Obama appointed her that. Um, she wrote a book and in that book, 125 pages, in that book, it has one scene where she's a little girl, eight years old, crawls into bed, be with her mom and her boyfriend because it's warm. The mom leaves to go shopping, and she stays in the warm bed, and the boyfriend rapes her. The book says, it popped up like a golden brown ear of corn. And then it goes on. There's a lesbian fantasy scene. There's a teen sex scene and a preteen pregnancy scene. And this book is ubiquitous. It's all over in most many different classrooms and most public school libraries. Here's my point. This is not, in my opinion, this is not a book that's appropriate for free range reading off the shelf by students. If the parent says it's okay, it's good. The Huntington Beach Public Library System for the last 30 years has called this book an adult only book. So in the public library, when you go in, it's adult only. But in our schools, it's available all over. What's your opinion? Okay, so that, that's how, how not about banning this? a book. Wait, wait, uh, but, uh, Pablo, Pablo, you, right. you there, remember? There books, Pablo, Pablo, books Pablo are... you remember a couple months ago or maybe a few more months, the whole school quit because they got caught doing something. I can't remember the name of the school, but yes, recently, because they, they, they discovered they were doing something wrong, and they all quit. They all got fired. You remember? No, no, that's... Okay, uh, go, go ahead and uh, answer John, Pablo, so, about the book. How about this? Uh, I, I agree with you that there are books that are age-appropriate, yeah. but there are books that are being banned that are age-appropriate, that have nothing to, yeah. to do about sex, and they are still being banned. And I'll give you another example. You know, there's a book that is thousands of, that is hundreds of years old and has uh, sodomy and, and sex Gamora, and too. crime, and it's called the Bible. Do you want to ban the Bible from schools, too? No, actually, I had a program to put all the holy books from all the religions in a reading section in our middle school libraries, but it turns out there wasn't but would much Would you say that the Bible that. is age-appropriate for all kids? Yes, I do. How... So why, what makes the Bible different? That it's okay for any child to pick it up when it has stuff about sodomy and sex and murder and even, it even tells you how to do an abortion. It says that if, if, your, if your wife has uh, cheated on you or you suspect she's cheated on you, you gave her, you gave her this medicine from, from the priest and if, if, if she dies or the baby dies, then it, that, that, uh, that she was cheat that you were cheated on. Well, I guess I that's, never, that's I a, never, that's, you know, that's a I full did, abortion, kill I'm the a, mom and the baby. I'm new into this. I never, I never believed that the Bible preaches that, Pablo. Is it, is it written? It's okay. The Bible uh, says that abortion is okay because 
it's uh, because, well, if somebody was cheated on, then it must be okay, right? Well, the Bible addresses all kinds of things, and the funny one or interesting is now, the... Now, I'm not saying that, that that's a quote, but I'm not saying that that's something Jesus said, because I actually tend to believe Jesus' teachings rather than the First Testament. But this is a quote that's in the Bible, and you're saying that some books should be banned. Well, I'm saying if you want to ban books, let's ban the Bible too. No, I, I've never said I want to ban a book. I've said that it's age appropriate. But the, the Old Testament and the Jewish part has a man, if a man, if a woman's husband died, she was supposed to marry that husband's brother. That's in the Old Testament. That's a law that is, is very specific and has been in place with the Jews for thousands of years. So the story in the Bible is the man is now married to his brother's wife and didn't really want to be. And the Bible says he spilled his seed on the ground and he was smitten. He was killed and struck down by God instantly. Well, that's interesting. I don't know what... Yeah. The Bible that's is a, a, very, that's, confusing, that's it's a very confusing book. It's a very confusing book. There's a lot of mm-hmm. things you, it's a very the Bible confusing says book. you should and shouldn't do. You, you have to understand the Bible. It's very, uh, there's a lot of people read it the wrong way too also. They get so just to be clear, I don't want to ban the Bible, and I don't want to ban books that have our history in it. A history that, that, a history that is good, good history. People that want to ban it, the reason why they want to ban it is because they're embarrassed about that history. But if you, if, if you, if you hide your history, you, you're bound to repeat it. So we had, we, uh, that was a good, no, uh, a good start that, out. That's a good see. start right there. Uh, I'm going to ask you a, a question, John. Uh, this morning, the Congress voted on a resolution to fine uh, Adam Schiff $16 million for lying to the public in many, many occasions in different stations of television all over the world. Yes, he did. So, you know, uh, he's been on TV for the last three years. That he had solid evidence. He's on CNN, Fox, all over the world. But it was classified, so he couldn't share it, and Donald Trump wouldn't declassify it for Right. Him. So, so that's the problem. But the thing is, I want you to break it down for the people out there that, uh, that everything, all these years, all the lies that they did, is he's entitled to be, you know, uh, they want to censor him and fine him for all this amount of money. Adam Schiff, what's your opinion on that guy? Well, it's, uh, he's full of Schiff, and he's full of himself. <laughs> And that's the first problem. He Why? lied. I think he did, lied. Did he, did, no... did he did all that because he wanted to become famous? Or what's the reason? Is it people? I mean, there's no, there's no shame on these guys. No. And, well, Nobody Adam, has shame in a Congress anymore. It's, people Trump say, no how, in the world, how in the world can Georgia elect that Marjorie Taylor Greene? Oh, my gosh. How can they stand Another there? one for the school. Well, they, they love her. So how can that San Francisco elect that Nancy Pelosi every time? She's so, she lies all the time too. And the answer is the voters love her there. So kicking out Schiff, because he lied, he did lie, they all lie. I mean, they, he lied and lied and lied. But this is too much lies, too much, too no, much. A, but uh, no. But uh, he uh, hasn't uh, been charged with a crime on it. So there's another guy in the Congress called uh, Santos. And Santos has been accused of, indicted for federal crimes He's innocent, though, and that's, and I, my, um, the congressman for the 42nd district uh, has, has, rep- has introduced all kinds of motions to have Santos expelled from, this, from the Congress, even though he's innocent. The man is absolutely innocent until proved guilty. And, and uh, Garcia is pretending like he's the judge and jury when he's neither. So Santos is innocent, and the other guy, uh, Schiff, unfortunately, is innocent, even though it's clear he's a lying saxter. Okay. We, now that we know that he, no, he's been lying for so many years, Paolo, well, I, and okay. it's proved by, by the report from Durham that not, no evidence, no paperwork, no trace for the, all these years and all the money they wasted it. What's your opinion on Adam Schiff? Nice guy and everything else, but I mean, let's no, say, did he nice lie? Guy. Did he lie to the public? <laughs> they mislead, at least? Because he has yeah, no I, goods. He has no evidence of anything now. Because well, the, the ladies from CNN says to uh, the Congress says there's no nothing in it. There's no evidence. Oh, uh, circumstantial. There's good news in it. I can, I can assure you there's evidence. Oh my there. gosh, I had no idea it was continuing. Oh now. yeah. So what do you say, Pablo? Uh, well, I appreciate John for being consistent on whether or not uh, Schiff is is uh, has committed a, you know, a crime here. Um, I'm not. A, I'm not a big fan of Schiff, and but I think that this. Uh, $16 million is, sounds political to me. 
Um, I would like to see the evidence that he's, he was lying. I'm not sure what he was lying about because from what I've heard, most of the things that Schiff has said about Trump have been exactly true. So I want to know... Now, just because Schiff was going after Trump, that's not enough for them to try to hold him accountable. Ah, uh, that's correct. Because, that's right, yeah. Because I think that they're, this is retribution, right? They're trying to get back at him for going after Trump. Probably, so, probably. If, if back he did a crime, all if he did years, a crime but... then he should do the time. But I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that's evidence correct. that there is any crime yet. Um, I'll, I'll wait. I'm not a fan of Schiff. But to me, from what I've seen, I, don't, I haven't seen any lying from him at all. Okay, let's play another clip, please. Señor Salvador. I met me with the general prosecutor Shoto. Yes. And I especially asked him, no, it was the day before yesterday. I especially asked him to resign. Great. And this is my second step for keeping my promises. I agree. Oh, son of a... <laughs> got fired. Cha-ching. Okay. Millions of dollars allegedly. John, John. For that moment. What do you say about this uh, right now that you see in there? Um, audio and video. Listen to the conversation with these two guys about, you know, the commitment he makes and the guarantee and everything and what's going on. Is that, is that a big lie from uh, Ukraine? What's the story? I haven't. I followed it from a distance. Uh, somebody who claims to have paid off big money made tape recordings of when he paid the money off of the Bidens, and he's saying that they're corrupt. He kept the recordings as insurance, and if, if Epstein can die in jail from hanging, not, I would be very nervous because his life is probably short-lived as well. I don't know, and, and so then what happens is then they're going to go do a voice check and prove the tapes. It goes on and on. But if, if, they, if it turns out that those tapes are true and, and what I've heard them to be claimed to be, we're going to end up with Kamala Harris as our, as our uh, president, which is even scarier than uh, Sleepy Joe up there. <laughs> okay, Paolo, take it away. So it's you, say. This, well, this, this is a, a good explanation. This is, it's, it's not looking good. Yeah, well, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Epstein died while Trump was president. Of course, um, yeah. So uh, it wasn't it wasn't Hillary and it wasn't Biden who killed him. No, it was New York <laughs> New York State Democrat New York land, State, USA. Yeah. Right, but the big apple, the big but apple. Trump got was him. president, and and he was in charge of of the Justice Department. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is that. Um, uh, you're right. I mean, some somebody's life may be maybe at, at at risk here. The thing is that um, he he may not be that this tape may not be. It, it may be taken out of context or it may be fabricated. Right? You can fabricate anything now. You can fabricate video. You can fabricate audio. Uh, Mario, is this really Pablo? Process. Are you sure that's not that, AI? That's Pablo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Pablo, it could yeah. be AI. Yeah, I could be <laughs> AI too. <laughs> no, it's true. There's I'm a lot. There's so much fake news. Right now, I, I, I go so, alone. That's the reason I brought it because I don't know who to believe. It's a bad situation right now. Yeah. I mean, there's a Chuck Grassley is on tape. He's got 17 tape recorders with these two guys, the father and the son. So I mean, I mean, finish your thought. <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, um, I'm I. I would like to know more before I opin opine more about this because I don't have enough details. I haven't been following along. I've had a pretty busy week, so I I would like to know more. I'm curious, though. But you okay. would say, if it's true, OMG, oh my gosh, this if, is unexpected. If it's true, Pablo, but will, that, will is, that change okay, your so mind? But you, know, you already know that there's a lot of corruption. But if it's true, I mean, there's a guy already writing articles of impeachment. And they tell them they cool off a little bit. Wait, wait a minute. Let's get them more facts, and now they're worse. Yeah. So, what I'm saying, yeah, if the it's thing is, true, is impeachment is going to be a waste of time because you need sixty. You need sixty senators to sign off. Uh, and I think that um, Republicans learned a lesson because they, you know, they they threatened to impeach their own. Uh, you know, when when it was Nixon, mm -hmm. and they learned their lesson. I think Trump learned his lesson. Trump, Trump uh, was impeached twice, and he. Uh, 
there were not enough Republicans with a spine because they knew what he did, but there were not enough Republicans with a spine to actually fulfill the, you know, to to actually convict him. So what? What? Get Pablo, him out of office. Pablo, if every all the Republicans, what do you know that he did that warranted either impeachment? But the second one comes to mind. Good well, question. The, Good question. There was the one about Ukraine. There mm -hmm. was tapes of uh, him, uh, the, phone know, the phone call. The phone call about where Ukraine. He, where he illegally withheld congressional approved uh, aid. Right. That's the that's one of them. He's that the executive the branch. He can execute when and where and how he wants. And so on that count, that's and, and Trump knows every single call he makes, really almost every word he utters, except you claimed he was unrecorded with Putin. I don't know if that's true. and I don't think it is. But um, anyway, on the phone calls from the White House, there's 15 people in the basement who listen, record, dissect, and analyze every utterance that the president I makes. guarantee you, John, if you had the same exact phone call, if Biden did the same thing and there was a Republican Congress, that you would be jumping up in arms and saying that let's impeach him now. So, again, Trump can do whatever he wants. There's two standards, one for Trump, one for everybody else. He's the president. He can execute just like so Biden. Um, Biden can do this, too. He's he's not impeachable. Yeah, don't don't waste your time impeaching him because you just told me that that Biden can do whatever he wants. Well, no. He, right? so, so so what I don't like. Paolo, he's not right convictable. Now, what, what, they I got him what I don't like is that the country is divided, really, like he says, there's there's two tiers of justice, one for them and one for them. In other words, each other is protecting each other. And that's supposed to be yeah. whoever commits the crime needs to be held accountable. That's well, that's why what, when Nixon resigned, he resigned in shame. Yeah, there's no shame right now. There's because no shame. There is no shame, exactly. There's Bingo. no shame for neither party right now, to be honest with you. Do we have another clip in there? Uh, there's buddy? one party that has less that has less shame. That's more that's more shameful than the other. Which one? The Republican Party. Uh, they have okay. no shame. They have no shame. All right. No shame. That's cool. Isn't that his opinion? That's cool. Yeah, no. I, <laughs> no problem. They're yeah. shameless. Not a lot. A little bit of shame, like no, no shame. No, no. To me, none of them have no shame. They don't have no shame, well, really. Because, or I'll put it this they way: they just the go Republican one side when it's power. convenient. Well, if the water's coming down high, this one, they just hide underneath the water, and then when it, it goes lower, they just go back again to. So now Donald Trump has committed classic politics. Donald Trump has committed no crimes at all, including being indicted is not committing a crime. And Pablo was talking about overestimating real estate, and uh, he, he uh, anyway, there's no crime. Roll it, buddy. Guilty today in Miami federal court to charges the Justice Department clearly saves only for him. Right now, former President Trump is in the air on his way back to Bedminster, New Jersey, for a big speech on the front lawn of his golf club there. And John Glasgow is there now with a quick look at the energy outside at Trump Bedminster. Hey, John. Okay, cut it up. That's cool. Hey, Rob, yeah, you can hear the music going here. There's uh, Pablo? Where's Pablo? Uh, okay, so, I, so I, I couldn't see the video of that. But, you didn't see uh, the video? Okay, can you play it again, please? Pablo needs to see no, it. No, that, I, that, I, that's I, evidence. It just says he flew up there, he was indicted, and then he flew up. Okay, one, one, the question to Pablo is, since he hear the audio, it's uh, this guy, Jack Smith. He's, a, he's got a, his record is not too good, you know what I mean? He messed up his uh, life of the, the governor of Virginia. He was, uh, they were looking at him like he was going to become the next so president. So we're, we're now scrutinizing the McDon investigator McDonald's. Now. So we're, in, we're investigating the investigator because yes. he's going after Trump? Yeah, why well, is well, well, who goes I, after I, Trump? I wanna, why do they get retribution? Why is, well, wait a minute, why wait a minute. Trump wait, just... Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. I want to know, do you, right now the talking is that he's guilty, in other words. And you and John agree that he's not guilty until it's proved. That's what I want to get your opinion on it. The media, all the seven channels in favor of it, or the eight or nine, they all talk about the guy is guilty. He hasn't gone to court oh, yet. Okay, that's another thing. I, I'll tell you what's happening with Trump. And, and it's unfortunate because Trump still has a lot of people who love him. They'll forgive anything he does, no matter what he does, right? That's a good but point. That's a good the, point. Yeah. The, rich people, the rich people are done with Trump. Even Fox News, I think that... Yes, no, they don't want to touch him anymore. They don't want to touch him. Yeah. They don't want to. They don't want to deal with him. They want to. They they would rather have a Chris Christie, who's gonna give rich people whatever they want, because Trump gave the rich people whatever he wanted. But he he pretended to be an everyman. He pretended to be 
a man of the people. But the rich people think he's too unstable and they're tired of his criminality. So now I think they're they're going to be leaning towards somebody more like Chris Christie. Now, Chris Christie cannot win the Republican primary, no. I think. No way, I Jose. Think, I think he's only there to kind of uh, ruin Trump. He's he's good at, at, at <laughs> throwing right. fireballs. So he's going to be throwing his fireballs until until to weaken Trump. And then um, Mike Pence, he's not charismatic. He, he cannot win the Republican primary either. He's a and liar he's too. too. He's a liar too. He lies he's too. He's too about much the of a pansy. Paper. He stood yeah. behind Trump every time. He never Go backstabbed ahead, yeah. him. But the so. only crime that that Pence did is he was not willing to overthrow democracy. He was not willing to to say, you know what? Forget about all these votes. Trump won. He was not willing to no, do that. That's no, not. No, that's no, not what he was no, going to no, do. They didn't, Pablo, what what they asked him no, to no, do no, was no, let to me, turn they, back they the delegates. They didn't have no time, Pablo. They they got yeah. scared. To be honest with you, once they see, once the lady, uh, the, once they kill the lady, they didn't have no choice. They had to call the president and wipe it off everything because they didn't have the, everybody. The whole country was scared. The vice president but, cannot declare the winner of the no, election. No, he can't do it. He can it's declare it's against the, the law. He can declare the electors sent by a state to not be valid and send them back to the state governance. So that's what that's what and they're asking they Pence be, to do. Not to declare a winner. Back. They were saying declare the electors that M Michigan and Wisconsin and Georgia sent in and Arizona to not be valid electors. And that he can do that now if anybody. Okay, John, uh, Kamala Harris can just declare herself the winner next time. Okay, you okay no, that's with not that? how it works. You, it's the electorate choice. But here's the question for you: <laughs> that I'd be interested. What in. you just said made no sense at all. It's not constitutional. <laughs> it is constitutional. Constitution says that the vice president will oversee the counting Audio. of the electoral can, votes. Can Kamala Harris declare herself president? No. No, but uh, Joe okay, Biden. So. Joe Biden has called her president many times. <laughs> no, you notice that? I don't think so. I, I don't think he's done by that. mistake. By mistake, in other words, you know, you know, here I am. Uh, I have you a know. video of it, but I don't think that's true. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, he continue. did actually. I heard he, it. He too. did a couple of times, to be honest with you. Yeah, really. But I, I have to show is, it to uh, him. You, you raised an interesting. On the first show we did, you mentioned about yourself and rental properties, and federal law requires that you take depreciation if you have a rental property. And then you cast aspersions. You said horrible things about rich people and Donald Trump specifically about taking depreciation. They're all crooks for taking depreciation. Do you draw a no. line, a little depreciation? No, what, okay. what I'm saying is you cannot, be a, a, you cannot be a deadbeat your entire life, never pay a dime in taxes, and then, and then expect everybody else to foot the bill for you, the middle class and even poor people. Poor people pay taxes. If, if you go to Target, if you go to Walmart, you pay sales tax. So you're paying something. And Trump does pay sales tax. But what you should tell me then is that Congress needs to change the laws again and prohibit depreciation or limit it to $10,000 a They're year They're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. Well, I That's can't not say what happen. they will or won't because, do. It's not Donald they, Trump. They don't work for us. They <laughs> don't saying, work for us. You're saying Donald Trump is a crook because he followed the law. He gets audited every quarter, every time, all the time. And because he followed the law, and took depreciation on a billion dollar casino and didn't pay income taxes. Now he's a crook, even though what he did was legal. And you take depreciation too. I take depreciation. Do we have I another know. video? That's it. That, that's a, that was the last one? Okay. All right, Pablo, answer, answer John about you, depreciation of the property. I'll take it too. Myself. You do have depreciation. Uh, I think we're deviating a little bit from the topic, but plenty of rich people pay, pay their, their fair share of taxes. Trump yeah, hasn't. One there were California several years where I paid more in taxes than Trump. And that's embarrassing because he's a billionaire. Are, Are you embarrassed? To... Now, remember, remember what I said. Don't There's no shame. On, There's no shame on these guys anyways. Uh, well, we're going to end the show. The show's over already. We're oh, we've end had the show so much fun and, uh, tonight. We're going to end the show on a good note. I like to invite everybody out there not to miss the show for next week because next week we're going to be talking about COVID-19. This afternoon, about 4 o'clock in, in the afternoon, there were news flying all over the world saying that uh, they discovered that the first scientific doctors that they handled this stuff in China, they were the first people to die. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of light coming up to this stuff and how, how much stuff they hurt. How many people these people hurt? Not knowing what they were doing probably or, or some, it looks like every, a lot of stuff was done intentionally. So Pablo, I uh, hope you be ready for next week about this discussion about COVID-19. And John Briscoe, yes. I hope you'll be ready. And I'll be back. With some... In the meantime, to all of you guys, we'll hope to see you next week on Wednesday. And to 
next week. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.